Five o'clock in the morning The conversation got boring You said you'd go into bed soon So I snuck off to your bedroom Actually, I was um, on the phone with the Apple store trying to get a new iPhone. And uh, when they put me on hold, that was the first song that came on, the Who'd Have Known. And, uh, you know, I took another iPhone and put the one I was on hold on, I put that on speakerphone, put the other one on Shazam, and put the two iPhones together, and that's how I found out it was Lily Allen. So, I mean, just from that second, I, I immediately went and slammed it on, on Logic, and it was a rap after that. Made the beat around that, and it just came out as a smash. And I added that boy, Wiz Khalifa. It was just, it was just undeniable. And she'll be waiting on me naked with one of my chains on. She might come and find me. Just trying to make it perfect and, you know, give people a reason why it took so long to make this album. I think it just really, I think I was just hard on myself. And I just wanted it to be better than anything else I've done. So, you know, it was a little stressful, but I think, I think it worked out for the better. Turn up the lights, give me a mic. I'm about to sing and do it just so she likes. Jump off the stage. Chris is the coolest, man. You know what I'm saying? Chris is one of the easiest people to be around. He's just, you know what I'm saying? Just his his level of intelligence has just has just grown so much since I first met him. I mean, I first met Chris Brown when he was 15. So, you know, he's just grown so much and he's doing his thing and he's winning and you can't help but love the dude. If you want to get with me, put your hands in.